S3 access points simplify managing data access at scale for shared data sets in S3, so access points are named network endpoints that are attached to buckets that you can use to perform S3 object operations like get and put. Each access uh, point has a distinct permissions via the access point policy, distinct network controls, distinct block public access, and you can access uh, these uh, endpoints two different ways over the internet or through a very specific VPC. Um, these S3 access uh, point policies allow you to write permissions for buckets uh, for uh, for a bucket alongside your bucket policy. And if you're looking at that going, that looks a lot like a bucket policy because it basically is. Uh, the whole point of uh, access points is to basically simplify the complexity of your bucket policy by moving a lot of the specific rules out into uh, these access points um, so that you don't have to manage a giant bucket policy and you have these uh, specific overrides just to get kind of a visualization here, um, here's an example of an access point that is accessing very specific files in the bucket from the internet. And then you have, uh, let's say, um, containers or EC2 instances that are sitting in a VPC, and they have a secure connection to um, access points that are accessing very specific files. So hopefully that really makes it clear, okay?